So Orla, you won obviously the Short Story Award and you said in your own blog that being shortlisted was, you know, victory enough. So sitting here now knowing that the, the story, The Visit, has won this award, what does it mean? Well, yesterday I didn't think it meant that much. Yesterday I felt I'd been selected, the story had been selected. It's a story from my first, my debut, which is The Accidental Wife. And I felt that really I had achieved everything. The story had achieved everything mm -hmm. that it needed to achieve. It had been picked by a jury of judges and I was happy with that. Now I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am thrilled. I'm, thr I'm flabbergasted. It's an enormous vote of confidence in a debut writer and a very new writer because um, my first publication was in 2013, I think, which is a blink of the eye in a writing career. I was just looking at John and some of the other superstars that we have out there tonight, and I am really a beginner, and it's an enormous vote of confidence, and I couldn't be happier for the story. And the story, The Visit, um, circles around an experience of a gentleman called Alo O'Donovan, Allo is, without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite character. I adore him, I love him, and people keep asking me, would I not expand Allo? Would I make a novel? Would I, would I write about Allo? And sure, maybe I will. So you'll be back as the winner of the novel of the year, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Please, God. The Visit is a tough story. It is, yeah. You know, it's very much set in the north, mm -hmm. your territory, it's unflinching. But it's a story that didn't get published in Ireland. You've got publishers in America. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about that. I sent the collection to a lot of Irish publishers and I didn't find a publisher who wished to produce the book. Partly in fact, I have to admit, partly in fact, because the book wasn't ready. Okay. It was sent out early, which is a beginner's mistake, particularly a beginner who is not being guided, which I wasn't because I have no writing credentials. I have no masters, I have no tutor, I have no mentor. And the book did go out early. And a lot of people, since the visit has been shortlisted, a lot of people have asked me, did I feel that the collection had perhaps been sidelined because of the northern themes and I have to say I didn't feel that I never felt that at the time but so many people in the industry have asked me if that were the case mm -hmm. that I don't know the answer to that but when I sent it to America I entered in three competitions and it won one of the competitions and they had faith in the book and uh, so do I and we have faith in it too thank you yes yes it's so, just so exciting. It's, it's been a very difficult and challenging experience to mm -hmm. have an American publisher because they are tiny. They're a tiny boutique publisher in Philadelphia and they have great confidence in the book but they have no reach, mm -hmm. they have no push, they have no wholesaler, they have no distribution network. It's been an enormous challenge and I am extremely grateful to a handful of independent retailers who have taken on the book and have uh, given it shelf space and also to Kenny's in Galway who are um, helping me to distribute it online. So I'm very grateful for that. They didn't need to do it and they had faith in the book and they did it. Orla, take you and your award and Allo and off you go and write a novel about him. And we'll see you back <laughs> here again. Take care. Please and God. Huge congratulations on winning the Thank short you. story of the year. Thanks very much.